throughout the pandemic, we saw a lot of uh, organizations investing in their talent and, and in particular talent development. It was quite a challenging time for leaders, a real test for boards and leadership teams to pivot talent strategies so quickly. To your point, Luke, people came out of a, a period of hibernation, let's say, where they started to think about, well, where am I at? Where is my career at? Has my value sets changed and, and my aspirations for what I want from both my career and my organisation has it changed? And we were very conscious of that at Amcor. We definitely saw um, that shift in the views and opinions of not only our, our leaders, but also our organisation holistically. So our approach to that was to really continue to do what is core to good talent management, um, to be super focused on what are the roles that we need as an organisation to continue our growth momentum. Because with that growth momentum, we're able to um, really bring to life our values, some of which are rooted in providing a safe and holistic workplace experience for our employees. But equally, you can look across your talent landscape and ask yourself, do I have the capabilities in my emerging high potentials within the organisation and can I develop them towards readiness so that the organisation doesn't drop that momentum? Uh, and that's really important. Equally, you've got to keep an eye to the external market as well. We support our internal talent with um, a raft of different development activities, but always back to what is it that the senior roles require in the organisation and trying to close the gap to readiness so that when the opportunity presents itself, they're ready to step into it.